Alright guys, um, some very interesting times here indeed. We have um, made the world's first AC supercell. Um, AC caps, this very large cap out of a um, AC motor. This is of course uh, 200 microfarads, um, extremely large, something to keep in mind. I can charge this up to uh, 3 volts and it won't even turn that motor, it discharges that fast. Capacity very, very small. Super caps, clarity conscious, um, as we know. Here you see my uh, new little cell and I made up this uh, plastic clamp just to uh, squeeze it together, hold it together. and. Um, just to run through the uh, little setup we got here, my power supply will be charging at 3.8 volts. Um, you'll see the white is on positive, black is on negative. You'll see the black is on the back terminal here, which goes straight to the motor. And that is also hooked up to the green jumper clip, which goes to our um, cell. Uh, this pin here, we're running through our multimeter then back into the other side of the motor and this one is also hooked up to the other side of the cell so all we're doing here is um, connecting the positive from our power supply um, which is going straight to our cap with the uh, motor disconnected at the moment of course and um, this is just going to show us the current flow and uh, the direction of that current flow into our little motor um, that will be enough quick charge otherwise we'll be here all day um, gonna be here a while anyway so you better go grab your popcorn now if you want to so I've just um, give ourselves here a bit of a uh, quick charge and as you can see the current is flowing in the correct direction um, this cell I've made different to our uh, previous one and um, in my next video I'm going to show you how to make these cells and this one is um, different in a uh, very interesting way um, wouldn't it be great if you could buy a cell that was not polarity conscious um, one that could be trained to take a um, current input in either direction so um, at the moment uh, we'll call this positive side you'll see I have two white leads coming out of the cell the reason for that is because it doesn't matter which way you charge this one up okay so that's just about stopped all right so what we're going to do now is um, we'll just give it a, another quick charge We'll say 15 seconds and I'll just uh, do a rough 15 seconds, you can check it out on YouTube. Um, the YouTube time clock of course. Okay, so well, it's probably somewhere around 15 seconds. We're not really after um, accurate time measurements or anything like that at the moment. I just want to show you what this uh, cell can do, our trifene. Um, works in a very interesting way. So I'll let that run down. While that's running down, I'm now going to swap the polarity of our power supply. So now you can see the white is a negative, black is positive. The black clip lead is going to remain where it is. Okay, I might have given a little too much. Now this cell here is about uh, two thirds the size of our original one as you can tell. Um, it's sandwiched between two thick pieces of plastic um, and I've got it down to one mil thick now, the actual cell. This one was uh, 1.5 we're now down to one mil and a little different configuration okay so that has stopped 
So we're now going to hook the polarity up in the wrong direction, which in uh, any other super cap would be a big no-no, because they are a DC cap, all super caps, and of course when you go to AC caps, you start getting into um, awfully large physical sizes and um, still extremely low on capacity. Um, and the more times you cycle this um, using one polarity, the more charge it takes uh, every 15 seconds. We give it a bit more to start with because um, it actually has to um, repolarize both the plates and um, restructure the uh, crystalline graphene, which I'm going to call it, the triphene. Alright, so um, we'll give that a whirl. I'm going to start it. You can probably keep an eye on the time clock as to how long this spins for. And you will now see the current is flowing in the opposite direction. So um, when you're reversing the polarity, um, the initial charge takes a bit because of course it has to uh, discharge the um, supercell and then um, recharge it in the opposite direction which is um, re-polarising re, um, the plates. <coughs> And you only have to do that once, once it's been done once. Okay, our motor has stopped, and now we'll just give it another 15 second charge. Okay. And remember, we're not um, charging this cell anywhere near its capacity. If I do that, then of course our charge time will take longer and the video will take hours. But from now on, every 15 seconds of charge we put in, we get a longer and longer and longer run as, this, um, as the uh, plates continually repolarize until such time as they're all set to run in the opposite polarity. But you've never seen a supercell do this before. Or a supercapacitor, should I say. Wouldn't it be great to be able to go to the shops, buy yourself a battery if you want to call it that, and um, having that battery sitting on the shelf dead flat. So as it had no shelf life, bring it home and you can charge it in any direction you like. Okay, so we'll give it another 15 second charge and I'm just guessing just counting seconds probably nowhere near accurate but um, you'll be able to see on the YouTube clock Each time we charge it, we get a longer and longer run. And the only reason I'm only giving it a 15 second charge is so this video doesn't take all night to watch.
Okay, we'll give it one more 15 second charge. And like I said, I'm just counting. There's no clocks involved, but I'm um, just showing you the effect. So we'll let that discharge now, and then um, we will once again swap our polarities over, and we'll charge the trifoon cell back up in the wrong direction to what it is now. So I reckon this is really, really good um, being able to charge a super cap in either direction and um, being able to train that cap to take a charge in whichever direction you like. So you can now go and buy a, uh, if we wanted to call it a battery, you could buy a battery off the shelf, which doesn't have a shelf life because it's holding no charge. Um, you can bring it home and you can charge it in any direction you like. You cannot hook it up wrong. You cannot charge it wrong. Okay. So we've swapped our leads back over. And we're now going to recharge that in the opposite direction to what it was just charged in. Now, like I said, it takes a little bit to repolarize the plates. Um, so the um, crystalline graphite can uh, sort itself out to accept the charge in the opposite direction. While we're waiting for that, this um, in the last video we put some magnets in that um, either side of this cell, and um, of course, as most of us have guessed, it wasn't the magnets that were doing anything other than um, pulling this cell tight together and. Um, allowing complete contact um, throughout the cell so uh, nothing special with the magnets works exactly the same if I clamp it between two bits of wood um, <clears throat> all right so uh, we'll hook this up again and now you can see our uh, current is once again flowing through the meter in the forward direction so I reckon that's really really cool a super cap that is not polarity conscious and as far as I'm aware that's actually a first in the world and um, it is uh, actually very simple to build and organize um, Robert if you're watching this maybe you can try this um, in the next video I'll show you all how it's done and um, how we achieve this effect or how we can achieve um, a uh, non-polarity conscious supercapacitor and we'll give that 15 seconds now And like I said, every time you charge it, um, it gets to a point where the um, cells or the two plates have completely um, polarised themselves and it um, takes very little to charge this cell up. Now of course the longer you charge the cell, the longer it will run um, because the capacity of that cell is um, 
very very large we're getting um, very close to the uh, 4,000 Farad mark I would think that one is about 2,400 um, after testing not 2,600 as I had on my video just to clear that up and uh, this one has two lots well kind of two lots of these plates arranged in a certain uh, way so our motor has just stopped we'll give it another 15 second charge And like I said, I'm just counting the seconds, probably nowhere near accurate, but um, you can have a look on the YouTube clock as to how long I charge it and how long it keeps running for each charge, and uh, you will see that it gets longer and longer. So there you go guys, the first super cap that is not polarity conscious, it can be charged in either direction and what does this mean for us? well it means that an AC capacitor that is this large can now be made something about the size of that little tiny washer for the same capacity so uh, that might be just worth something and for a whole lot cheaper something like that it would cost you about five cents to make whereas that costs about uh, twelve dollars <coughs> so there you go the world's first non-polarity conscious super cap and um, like I said in the next video I'm going to show you how I make it we're going to make a cell and um, we'll put that cell together test it I'll show you the materials I use and you guys um, can then nut out what uh, you want to use in the way of graphene I would think normal graphene would work as well but um, my triphene mix seems to have um, a few advantages over on uh, a greater capacity and um, I'm actually not sure if the uh, graphene would work um, in a non-polarity conscious way but um, I don't know maybe you guys can try it out Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to um, start making myself some more triphene and uh, we'll make a bigger cell. See how we go. That'll be in the next video. We'll put one together. Well, till then, cheers.